welcome back welcome boys and girls back to kbf this week and happy mother's day to all the mothers out there um, i hope you've had a lovely day so far and i'm looking forward to reading the bible with you today well let's get started so today we're going to be continuing from ephesians and we're looking at chapter 1, verses 3 to 5. And so I'm going to read that for us now in the Bible. You can read it along. It'll be on the screen as well. Let's read. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ for the spiritual blessings that Christ has brought us from heaven. Before the world was created, God had Christ choose us to live with him and to be his holy and innocent and loving people. God was kind and decided that Christ would choose us to be God's own adopted children. God was very kind to us because of the son he dearly loves. And so we should praise God. Well, today the passage is talking about adoption. So maybe you know someone who's been adopted into a family. It's a super cool thing when loving parents choose to love a child that doesn't have a family of their own. That child has now has all the benefits of being a part of that family once they're adopted. And that's how it works with God as well. He wants us to be a part of his family. But before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to someone. Come with me. Hey guys, I'd like to introduce you to my pet bunny. Now his name is Pickles. Now Pickles loves to eat hay and coriander. And I'll tell you a little story about when I got Pickles. So I didn't buy him from a normal pet shop. I adopted him from the RSPCA and I went down there and I looked at all the bunnies and I chose him because I don't know why I chose him there was just something about him that I liked I liked his brown fur and his lop ears and he didn't seem <laughs> to be like a crazy bunny he was nice and calm and he was just the cutest. And so he's now part of my family. So Pickles is my bunny, part of my family. Um, and that's like our passage today. Uh, we're talking about adoption into God's family. Now, how are we adopted into God's family? Well, God chooses us and we say yes to him, don't we? And I, just like I chose Pickles, and I, I paid for him, and so he's mine. He's my pet, and he's part of my family. Do you have a pet that you've adopted, like Pickles? Or maybe it's a dog or a cat, or another kind of pet? I'd love to hear your stories about your adopted pet. So now we're going to have a look at our memory verse, and I've got some actions to go with it too. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, great. So this is from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5. So it starts off, God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5. Do you remember that one? So we'll do it again. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter one, verse five. Good job, everyone. So this verse is telling us that God planned to adopt us. He planned this a long time ago. He planned it all the way from the beginning of time. It was a long, long time ago. And it's so easy for us to be adopted. All we have to do is to put our trust in Jesus. 
and to believe that he saved us from our sins. We don't have to give 50 high fives to people or to be able to answer every question in KBF. We can get into his family just by trusting in Jesus. And then we are adopted into the biggest, coolest family. How cool is that? The biggest, coolest family in the whole universe. Being part of God's family means that we get the benefits that God offers, like his protection, his love, his blessings, and heaven. How cool is that? Well, we're going to sing a song now, and this song is about what we've been talking about. It's by Sovereign Grace Kids, and it's called God's Big Family. So let's sing. guys I'm really glad uh, that we're able to sing together even though we're so far apart uh, another thing that you might like to do as part of this this Bible verse week okay so talking about adoption into God's family we can make I'm sure you've got at your home a bunch of these things Do you know what they are they're toilet paper rolls and we can do a lot of different craft with toilet paper rolls and I'm going to show you what I've done. Okay, so I've made my family out of toilet paper rolls. Let me show you. Okay, so this one's me. See, so I've used 
I've just cut out a yellow bit of cardboard, put some a face on it, and I've used for the clothing some old wrapping paper. So if you have some wrapping paper around your house, you can ask mum and dad if you can use that for this craft. And then you can draw a face on and put stick some hair on. All I had was twine, so that's all I've got. So there we go, that's me. And this one is Matt. So this is my husband, Matt, and this is me. So we're married, so that's my family who live at home with me. And then we have my sister. So this is my sister, we have her, and then we have my mum and my dad. So this is my mum and my dad. So you can choose to decorate your little people with however you like, with whatever you have around your house. Um, but you'll also have the crafts that we sent via email. So you can do those, do as many or as ma a little as you like, and there's some questions there that you can answer. Um, we're also doing a Zoom chat at 3 p.m. on Sundays for KBF Kids. You will need to fill in a permission form. Your parents will need to fill that in for you before you can join. So we'd love to see you. We'd love to see your faces and to pray with you and to look at the Bible together. So we'd love to see you there. Uh, but that's all we've got time for. So I'm gonna say goodbye and I will see you next week. Okay, bye guys, see you later, bye.